All right, let's talk about some interior mods to the Jeep. If you missed my last video, five exterior modifications or improvements to your Jeep Wrangler, I'll add a link to that or add it um, right here so you can check that out. But I wanna to talk today about just some cheap things that I've done so far since owning this Wrangler to maybe give you some ideas. These improvements really don't cost that much money, so I wanted to keep everything really under a couple hundred dollars. If you're new to this channel, I cover auto detailing tips, really keeping your vehicle cleaner on the inside and the outside. So if you're interested in stuff like that, be sure to hit subscribe. As a lot of you guys know, I bought a Wrangler back in April, so I wanted to cover just some very affordable things you can do to the inside that really don't cost a ton of money that I've done. Most of these are like improvements. Um, most of these are paint related. So something you can get started on pretty easily. If you have any other tips or ideas, be sure to leave a comment. We'd love to know uh, what everybody's doing to their Wranglers. But I'll get started. We'll start with number one, and that is the bezel. I painted that uh, stock color of my Jeep. You can pick up these paints at Quadratech, depending on what color Jeep you have, but it's pretty simple. You just pop out this plastic piece here, and then there's a couple of screws. There's one here, and I think there's one here and here that you take off. This whole piece comes off. And one thing that I did, I cleaned it really well with a brush and dish liquid. You just need a degreaser to remove any oils or anything on this in order for paint to stick to it. And then I also like to use an adhesion promoter whenever I'm painting plastic. So you can pick up a can of that pretty cheap. I'll leave a link to where I found that paint as well as the adhesion promoters and everything like that. But after you paint everything, I would give it probably four or five coats. I went back over it with a clear coat and I gave it about three coats of clear. The next modification improvement is painting your dashboard, painting your airbag cover, and basically the whole dash another color. Mine was pretty faded out when I got this Jeep. It was a tan color, so I decided to paint it. And one thing I did was I took off as much as I could. I took off this plastic piece. The glove box comes off. Most of these plastic pieces come off pretty easily other than this one at the bottom. Um, the door pops off if you buy a little tool to pop the, the hand crank off of it and you can paint that pretty easily. But so far so good. I think it's holding up pretty well. I just used an adhesion promoter after I cleaned it with a degreaser just to get all the oils off of it so that paint would stick to it. So hit it with the adhesion promoter and then I've used a paint that Duplicolor makes. It's a vinyl and plastic paint and it's pretty cheap it comes in a spray can i think i bought three or four cans total but i coated it a couple of times and then i went back over it with a clear coat that's actually a matte clear so it's not like a shiny clear um, as you can tell this grab bar does not like the clear coat that i added so it's still a little bit shiny but you can buy covers for these uh, it's because it's rubber and paint really doesn't like to stick to rubber but out of all the interior mods that i've done the interior paint i think is my favorite it just really transformed the way my jeep looks from what it did previously so i would highly recommend that next interior modification i want to talk about are seats so as you can tell here these are the stock wrangler seats that came in my tj back in 2004 and i've tried cleaning these but there's just really not a lot that i can do at this point there's some cigarette burns here i've really done the best i could do but you have a, a couple options one is buying the replacement seats on craigslist sometimes you can find these that are exactly like the stock seats but in my experience it's really hard to find really nice wrangler seats that someone has either picked out of a scrap yard or are trying to resell a lot of times they're asking you know three or four hundred dollars a piece so one alternative to this is actually picking up aftermarket seats by a company like Smittybilt, which is about the cheapest I've found online. They're vinyl seats. They have pretty good reviews from what I've read. That's what I'll probably do for my Jeep. The modification that I made to my Jeep was adding an aftermarket carpet kit because I didn't have carpet in my Jeep to start with. I picked up a kit like this on Quadratech for about 160 bucks. It comes with a couple different pieces. Now, this is pretty filthy right now, but Pretty much one for the passenger side, one for the driver's side. It sort of fits over um, the center console area. And then if you look in the back, you've got a couple different pieces in the back. I haven't put the trunk piece down yet, but this is just a very easy modification that you can make that will not only make it look better, it'll also help insulate it a little bit if you don't have carpet in your Jeep already, as well as keep it a little bit cooler in here if you have a soft top like I do. So that's just something that you can pick up 
like I said, for about 160 bucks. Some of these are a lot more expensive, but I will add links to where I found mine at if you want to check that out. The last modification I want to talk about for the interior are floor mats. So I just replaced my carpet not long ago, but I did not pick up floor mats. That's my next project. And as you can tell, it gets pretty filthy after normal driving. So I would pick up a good set of floor mats, not something like this. I just picked these up for the time being. They don't really work at all because they slide around a lot. They fold on top of each other. I would recommend the WeatherTech line of floor mats. I have a set of these in my Silverado. I've had these for about six years and I think they really do a great job at collecting dirt. They're really easy to clean and definitely a good investment for your Jeep. They also make the cargo mats that you can pick up as well. So if you're going to the beach a lot, if you take the bench out of your Wrangler to put golf clubs in, you definitely want to pick up a cargo mat because you don't want to risk having your carpet damaged, especially if you buy a cheaper carpet kit. Um, so just protect that with a cargo mat. You can pick those up for around a hundred bucks as well. As a bonus, one more modification I want to talk about before I leave is your console lid. If you have a Jeep Wrangler, it may be cracked. Mine had a huge crack in it. I tried to repair it and it's just not looking great. I tried spraying it with a bed liner. I patched it. Uh, but one thing I'll probably do is buy a console lid cover on eBay or Amazon. I think Rugged Ridge makes one of these that is black that you can just tape onto your existing lid. I think it's got some 3M tape that you just uh, you tape on. You can also pick up a console lid cover that's padded. They make a couple of these as well. But if you try to find this on eBay, it's gonna cost you about 150 bucks. So if you're looking to improve this, I definitely would recommend the cover. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to this channel, what I like to do is just talk about auto detailing tips. I own a Jeep Wrangler, so a lot of the tips that I talk about I'm talking about in context to this Jeep. So if you like that, I've got a Jeep playlist I'll add at the end of this video if you're looking to improve your detailing ability. You just wanna really learn how to wash and protect your vehicle better. Be sure to head on over to carwashcountry.com. I've got a bunch of free resources for you there as well as videos here on this channel. But thanks everybody and until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.